YouTube! Hi, let's make a video about Arlequino and how strong she becomes with every single constellation on her. Let's figure it out and make a table out of it. Now before we start the video, I would like to give a little disclaimer that this video was made to the best of my ability so if you guys have any doubt, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get to it. So so so, we're gonna start off with C0 and this will be serving as the baseline for every single damage comparison and the numbers we figure out towards the end of the video. So yeah, here is Arlequino with the help of Bennett and Kazuha dealing damage to our dear puppet Masanori. Let's see how quickly Arlequino disposes of Masanori at C0 and R1. There is no going back once I do this, okay? Mask of the Red Death is further enhanced by the value of 100%. Additionally, Arlequino's interruption to resistance is increased when she performs normal and charge attacks while affected by the mask of red death all right so c1 provides an additional multiplier to the bone of life converter and also provides some quality of life upgrades a very good constellation in my opinion and here we can see the damage it actually deals also c1 does not increase the burst damage so we did not exactly take a look at the increased burst damage because there's none so moving on to now c2 blood dead directives are now already blood De dead dew okay bro english when first applied when arlequino observes such a dew she unleashes a bale moon blood fire in front of her dealing 900 percent of her attack as aoe pyro damage and increase all elemental rest and physical rest by 20 percent for 15 seconds this effect can trigger once every 10 seconds you must first unlock the passive tangent a talent agony alone may be repaired okay whatever okay so basically a 900 percent attack nuke and all right guys there's no going back anymore okay c2 has been activated all right c2 reduces the time requirement for converting the blood dead directive into blood dead dues and whenever you consume your blood dead dues you deal a 900 percent attack multiplier as a mini new which you can see right there a very good constellation for a bunch of front loaded dps in my opinion and a very good stopping point if you ask me all right okay increases the level of normal attacks by three okay that's it very simple constellation normal attacks plus three okay it could not be any simpler let's have a look at how much of an increase c3 actually makes and the direct buff to the normal attack levels for our Likino. this constellation is for those people who want to go above and beyond for our dear father so c4 our Likino, when successfully observes a blood dead directive bale moon's riding cool damage will decrease by school down Cool damage, no, no. Cool down will decrease by two seconds, and 15 elemental energy will be restored to her. So the best way to test it out will be to use E Q E and then absorb the energy, right? Okay, let's see this. Okay, activate. It's a quality of life update. Okay, so I just want to show you guys like how much of a difference it makes in quality of life, right? As I mentioned before, C4 provides a bunch of quality of life to Arlequino, completely negating the need of any required energy recharge and absolutely enabling her to reduce the cooldown for her burst as well. But for some reason, when I was testing this on day 1 with Masanori, I wasn't exactly able to proc the burst cooldown reduction for some reason. However, I did get 15 energy. So I had to test it out again with the chicken, and I was able to see that the skill cooldown actually happens. So let's have a look finally at C5. Increases the level of your burst by level 3. Great. Very solid, right? Three levels to your burst, pretty simple. All right, so finally we have a constellation that increases the burst damage by a significant amount. So let's have a comparison on what the burst was before and how much damage it deals right now. Finally, it's C6 time. The amount of damage dealt by Bailmoon Rising is increased by 700% of Arlequino's attack multiplied by the percentage of bone of life she possesses, which is technically like a mini nuke and it also gives you 90 cv after you use your elemental skill yes okay let's activate that it's done there is there is no going back anymore guys so Arlequino c6 the constellation which buffs not only your normal attack but also buffs your burst damage as well giving you 90 crit value and also increasing the burst damage by a massive multiplier so let's have a comparison on what's the new burst damages and what are the new normal attack damages are and then we can move forward to the final table 
So here are the final results from my testing. As you can see over here, I have presented every single number we got throughout this testing into a table. So you can look for yourself and decide whether you want to go for C0, C1, C2 or all the way up to C6. My personal opinion would be going for C1 before R1 because it gives you a solid chunk of damage increase. After that, if you really like Arlecchino, C2 should be a very good stopping point. But if you are a diehard Arlecchino main, you should go for C3. And if you are what I would like to call personally an Arlecchino connoisseur, go all the way till C6. It's a huge damage increase and I must say I've been 3 tapping wall bosses with my C6 Arlecchino. So yeah, thank you so much for watching again and as always, I will see you in the next one. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or check me out at my Twitch. Please, that would be really appreciated and subscribe. Take care.